For the most part, our crops are a harmonious bunch, working side by side for the greater good. Taking turns catching the rays and joining network forces down below to grab moisture and nutrients more efficiently. It sounds like some sort of utopia, right? Well, for the most part, it is. But not everyone plays nice, and not everyone shares the wealth. Hi, I'm Jeff from the Ripe Tomato Farms. Welcome to another episode of The Garden Quickie, the show where in two minutes or less, we try our hardest to keep the peace. And today is all about zucchinis. Or, more accurately, why they make such terrible companion plants. All squash really, not just zucchinis. I got three reasons why today, time short as always, so let's get into it. Edible squash crops, zucchini in particular, are massively productive plants. Endless harvest after endless harvest, as long as the summer continues. But to produce that level of produce, they need a lot of inputs. A lot of water, a lot of nutrients, and a lot of light. With their oversized leaves and highly efficient root and cell systems, zucchinis are very adept at grabbing these things. They'll quickly take over an area, and even traditional one-foot spacing is hilariously inadequate. And while the zucchini plants are hogging to themselves all that water, all those nutrients, and all the space, they're also inviting some unwanted guests. Soft-bodied insects like aphids simply love zucchini plants. The quick, lush growth seems to really attract them in spades, and while your zucchinis are tough and rarely affected by such sap-sucking nuisances, the neighboring plants might not be. And finally, after using up nearly all the resources, as well as bringing in a bunch of unwanted guests, zucchinis and squash contribute something much worse. If you've ever grown zucchinis or any squash before, you've likely dealt with it, if not at least been warned about it. But this group of plants is highly susceptible to powdery mildew. It just follows this family of plants around like no other, and it can jump to other crops around it that aren't normally affected. Crops such as peas, tomatoes, and even your strawberries. Zucchinis, where the best solution is single and solitary. Unlike the next episode of the Garden Quickie, where everyone's invited. See you soon. Thanks for watching, guys. And hey, if Garden Quickies are your thing, be sure to click on this playlist here as we explore and solve more growing issues in two minutes or less.